So hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tech channel. And in this video, we're going to work on the OTP page. Okay, so here you can see the OTP page and let's start working on it. For that, I will going to create a new file called OTP page.tsx here. I will create a boilerplate code here with RNFES. Now we have the OTP page and let's do it quickly. Okay, I will do it. I will add a OTP page route. Okay, and I will use it here. Okay. So also let's provide this OTP page as initial route so we can visualize it over here. Okay. Okay. It should come here. If I will hit the refresh. Yeah, OTP page came here. Okay. And let's work on the OTP page. We have a view. Okay, that will going to be our root view. Okay, so let me provide a style to our root view. We don't have anything, but let's use it. Okay, style styles dot root. Here we need to have a app bar. So let's come here on the country page and let's copy the code. We already know about this thing, so I will not going to explain about the app bar. We are using this app bar from the React Native Paper Material Library. I mean, Component Library. Sorry. And here we added the app bar. Select your country. Let me remove the elevation as of now. Select your country is not the suitable, and we don't we don't need this search bar. And the text will going to be enter otp code so let's do it quickly so enter otp code tab bar is added now let's work on the remaining remaining thing okay so basically let's create a two view okay the first view will going to be this and the second view will going to be this okay so for that what i will do let's let's create a view okay first of all okay this is our view and let's give a name main style okay let assign to this main style so i will explain each and everything in detail so just pay attention okay so we have a main style and suppose i will provide a display as a flex and if I will not provide a flex direction, then it will work as a flex direction as a column wise. Okay. Okay. So we have a main style. So basically this view is our root view and it have a first children as a app bar and second children as this main style. Okay. So as of now, if I will provide a background color to this thing as a red, basically red will not be zero then you will find nothing is happening here okay because it don't have a height this view don't have a height that's why we are not able to see that view okay here okay but what if i will give a root view as a height 100 percent okay and i give this view as a flex one so let's assign this to 94 percent height okay i will going to assign 94 percent height so this is our main style and let's work on here so in the main style i'm going to add two different view okay the, the first view will going to consist this and the second view consists this okay so let's go here so let's work on the first view so this is our first children it will going to be contain style and the second children will going to be placeable. Actually, we use a placeable earlier also. So, in a welcome page, we already have all the things. So, what I will do, I will just copy this placeable. Okay. I will copy this placeable and paste it here. Okay. Right now, we will not add this on place method functionality, but let's copy this button style and button text style. From the welcome page so we have the button style and button text style 
I don't want it to write the whole thing again and again. That's why I will copy and paste it here. Okay. So we got this again continue button. Okay. And basically the height will going to be 53 and the color will going to be zero. Okay. And this color will going to be okay. So we got it and this color will going to be okay instead of agree and continue it will going to be verify i hope you got the idea now let's do one thing um, this is our content style okay uh, and this is our main style sorry so let's use a line item in the main style as a center so basically i wanted to align this thing on a center okay also let's increase the border radius to 25 okay and uh, now we got this uh, button style and uh, button text style let's work on the continue style so i will going to assign this view style style dot continue style okay as of now you are not able to see anything in content style okay but i will do the same thing as i did for this main style okay i will use flex as a one here to give the remaining height okay and instead of using this 94 let's use 93 percent okay so this content style got all the remaining height available like just we did on the main style okay now here we can put our first text the first text element which is code has been sent to this number okay i will just copy this thing and that is added here next thing is work on this particular thing and this particular thing so let's work on this particular thing for recent code in 56 seconds okay I will just do one thing I will just copy the whole thing and put it here the same code in 56 seconds along with that it should have a different color okay so I will do one thing like we did in another page we are going to use another text 56 seconds okay and uh, let's add a second text style let's see sorry it will be a second the color will going to be green color so it will be a color code this one let's assign to this style Style dot text style. Okay, fifty six is added. Fifty six second. So just add some space here. Okay. So these two thing is added, right? And uh, we need to work on this thing also. Okay. And to achieve this kind of input box what we can do that we can use a package package called react native otp text input what i will do i will install this thing in our project okay and basically it have a good documentation okay it really have a good documentation and you can find the functional component documentation what you need to do is you need to just create a ref object okay and it's giving an issue let me just fix that thing with the pair depths okay it have some dependency conflict so with help of legacy pair depths it will resolve it okay and what i will do i will just import this thing and i can use this component provided by this otp text input here okay and let me add this thing with any as of now because we are using a typescript 
and one problem I face that it not automatically import so I will import like this OTP text input from OTP text input okay so why this is giving an issue okay let me add this thing and let me hit the save so that OTP text input is added here and for installing this thing what we can do that it already have one props called text input style and let's create a text input style okay with this property text input style i will add this thing here and i have added a border radius 10 and border width 4 and let's use this style over here okay i will hit the save then you will find that the 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 property of the border is converted like this so uh, instead of the border with 4 I can use border with 2 and it will look like this okay and I don't want to change the color this teal color is exactly like our whatsapp uh, color code so I will keep it like this okay here we can add 1 2 3 4 something like this and it will work fine okay now what we need to do we have added all the component and we just need to align it properly okay so for that what i will do i will just use this text input control x i will put um this thing here it's a view main style okay and it should be in mid so just after this i will add it okay and now we need to just align it properly right we need to align it like this so what we need to do that inside the main style we have this content style right and whatever thing we have that we have inside the content style so let's go on a content style and let's find out here we have a flex one let's use justify content center Okay, that came into the center and also let's use align items as center okay so it will look like this and now we need to add some gap so let's add a gap around 30 px maybe okay and that's it Any code has been sent to this number along with this thing and this encode in 56 second i guess it's looking exactly like this okay so let's go here and let's add some number 8765439 something okay so the otp page work is also completed i'm not adding any functionality right now even though this recent code in 56 seconds we need to add some kind of timer here we can create that thing and let's not cover that part in this video we will cover it later okay when we uh, connect this whole thing with the backend so the purpose of this video is completed we completed the otp page and let's connect all the page okay as of now what we did that we have added individual pages and now let's connect all the pages uh, and start working on the main home page okay till that please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friend and happy coding